Hello everyone, Alan Roberts from North Texas Traders. Today we're going to talk about the new Wells Cargo HD series, what I, can, I call the commercial grade that's been around forever. Uh, some of the features and benefits of it over the entry levels and, and the mid-range units. First of all, uh, you'll notice it's an adjustable coupler on the front. This is a 2 and 5 6 things because it is a tandem axle unit. Uh, this particular unit is rated at 10,000 pounds GVWR, so you actually have a 2x6 rectangular tubing mainframe with the 2x6 rectangular tubing center tongue brace that goes through the first header, goes through the first cross member, ties into the second cross member, which is also a 2x6 rectangular tubing. Uh, the Wells Cargo commercial grade is one of the few out there that actually have four corners, and they go from the bottom of the header to the top of the top rail. It, it is a radius corner post. It is not roof bows running horizontally across the front. It makes it a true flat front trailer. It gives it four corners, makes it super strong, super rigid. So you don't have any twisting and flexing and screws popping out. No metal fatigue like that. Uh, this particular unit, uh, being that it is one of the newer ones, also comes with an 8,000 pound drop leg jack instead of the 2,000 pound top line that we know always gets drug off the first time you go through a low spot. Uh, all the wiring on the Wells Cargo, your connections are made up here in a junction box. They're not made inside the breakaway battery case like some of the other manufacturers do. This unit's equipped with the exterior spare tire carrier with the spare tire wheel. It actually also comes with the cover and a locking plate where you put a padlock on it. Um, a lot of people talk about flat, flat front trailers versus V front trailers. This is a flat front. It is also available in a V front. Everybody kind of has different opinions on the fuel mileage savings and stuff like that. I think it's so close you really can't tell. Um, one of the other features on the new Wells Cargo HD series is they have gone to a cast aluminum door hold back instead of a plastic or just a little metal hold back. This is the cast aluminum hold back. It goes right here and it goes into the actual latching place on the door. A lot more secure if the wind's blowing, it's not going to rip it out of the side of the trailer or rip it out of the door. The uh, Wells Cargo commercial grade comes standard with torsion axles. That gives you your independent suspension versus having spring suspension where you have the equalizer bar and you have a lot more moving parts. Moving parts are going to be wear items such as springs, shackles, bolts, equalizers, bushings. That's just all stuff that is more service involved. Uh, a lot more maintenance required on that. Um, Easy loop hubs on all axles, uh, just gives you the ability to periodically uh, maintain the bearings yourself with just a little bit of grease. All LED lighting, uh, I think pretty much everybody's gone to that, but the LED lighting is just a nicer light, a uh, lot less draw on the tow vehicle, you don't have problems with shorts and stuff as much as you did the old. You will also notice that the walls of the Wells Cargo are smooth, are bonded. Uh, you don't see all the screws or you don't see rivets. Uh, they actually use 030 aluminum, not 024 like some of the cheaper, more economical trailers are. And once again, no screws. Uh, it is a rounded roof trailer, not a flat roof trailer. I personally think it makes the trailer stronger. Uh, you can definitely tell when you're inside, the roof is tighter and it doesn't uh, flex around as much as like on a flat roof. Uh, this particular unit's equipped with sidewall vents, and these are the nicer sidewall vents where I, I'll show you on the inside. I can actually open and close these vents, not like just a standard sidewall vent where it's open all the time. Um, back here at the back, you can see the actual the rear corner post. This is the same corner post that's at the front. Uh, on the HD series, all your exposed metal is going to be armor tech coated. It's uh, much like a liner spray and liner type product. It's on the rear, rear header. It's also on the tongue of the front. I missed that. Uh, this particular unit has the ramp door. Uh, one thing people don't realize on, on ramp doors, the, your, your economy models and the other brands, they use two latches. They'll have one on each side of the door. Uh, what that does is that pushes on each side of the door is all it does. On a Wells Fargo commercial, we have one bar that goes all the way across. It is actually putting pressure on the door here, here, and it's putting pressure here in the middle. It creates a better seal, uh, less chances of leaking. 
One thing, remember when you open a, a door like this, you always open it, you put the latch back in so that when it comes down, it doesn't hit the ground and get accidentally bent. Ramp door, uh, it has the ramp extension. Everything on the commercial grade is gonna be the, in the floor is gonna be the three quarter inch dry max product. The walls are gonna be the three eighths dry max product. Uh, it is not particle board. It is a manufactured OSB that is designed to be used in cargo trailers. It is water and chemical resistant. As we step inside, you can see that everything on the Wells Cargo structure on the roof, 16 inch centers, the walls are 16 inch centers, and the floor cross members are on 16 inch centers. The roof and the walls are all square tubing, not hat post, not Z iron. It is a much superior product than the ZI. Uh, the vents, like I was talking about, this has what's called the Salem directional vents. You actually can open the vent either direction or you can close it. It's always best to leave them open a little bit because uh, this condensation gets inside of it and then you can have mold and that's not good for anything that you might have inside. Interior lighting, LED, uh, there is a wall switch. It's not just a little switch on each one of the lights. This actually works off of your power, your charge wire, your tow vehicle. For more information, call 844-HITCH-AND-GO or visit any of our Dallas-Fort Worth.